Here's the field for the second race. Number one, Stylish Virginia, driver change to Tony Morgan. Number two, your hostess and Tommy Harmer. Number three, Annie Up, Daryl Bussey. Number four, Boot, Coo, Bath, and Laverne Hostether. Number five is Make Mine Grand and Dean McGee. Number six is Road Goddess and Fred Finn Jr. Number seven, Short and Curlies with Danny Knox. Number eight, still rock and roll, Joe Marsh Jr. will drive. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with six minutes till post, here are your possible $2 daily double payoffs. Time of the turn. Here they come. They're off. It's Make Mon Grand going for the lead. Annie up and your hostess. Those three in the battle for the lead. And Annie up. Powers between horses. Your hostess. Make mine grand. On the outsider comes short and curlies. Followed in the turn by stylish Virginia Buku Bath. It's road gonna still rock and roll. And your leader to the quarter. He's Annie up. Make mine grand. His second by three lengths. Your hostess. His third now by two lengths. Short and curlies. Followed by stylish Virginia. They're off the quarter. 29 and two the quarter. And Annie up. Leads a length and a quarter, make mine grand. In second, two lengths, your hostess. Closing the gap, third, two lengths. Short and curlies. Here comes short and curlies. It's stylish Virginia. Followed by still rock and roll, Buku Bath and Road Goddess. They're approaching the half mile marker and Annie up. Leads the way, but short and curlies. Now third, now second on the outside. It's make mine grand and third. The field's half way home. A minute and four into the clubhouse turn and Annie up has the lead. It's make mine grand. Now back to second short and curlies. Followed by stylish Virginia, your hostess. Buku, Beth and still rock and roll. Now they curve into the box stretch and Annie up leads the way a length. It's make mine grand second short and curlies. Followed by stylish Virginia, your hostess and road goddess three quarters 130 and two into the final turn it's honey up with the lead make mine grand is on the outside second your hostess in third now they're in the final eighth of a mile and your leader is honey up here they come turning for home and Annie up cuts the corner. Here comes Make Mine Grand. It's Annie up with the lead. Make Mine Grand charging. It's Annie up with the lead. It is Annie up at the bar. Make Mine Grand close for third. Number three, Annie up was first. Number five, Make Mine Grand was second. Number four, Buku Bath third. Number two, your hostess was four. Results of the second race are now official. Time for the mile, two minutes flat. The early daily double of one three fifty dollars forty cents fifty forty. Second race run down five four one three two six eight seven on the bottom. Moving to the winner's circle, the second race winner number three Emmy up. Annie Up is owned by the l and Divisor Partnerships of Holland, Michigan. Trained by Jerry Moore. Driven by Daryl Bussey. The mile two minutes flat and Annie Up has paced to a lifetime mark. Three-five perfected returning $29.80.
Hello again, racing fans. This is Tony Salvaro upstairs, and we're online, direct to the paddock with driver Daryl Bussey. Daryl, we're going to uh, watch the second race winner, Annie Up, uh, in action. And as the gate uh, rolls into the stretch and just about going to the start, you had it in your mind, of course, you did want to leave. Yeah, uh, last week we left a little bit and uh, let that uh, one horse go, and uh, we kind of got trapped in a two-hole. So Jerry Moore's wife is here tonight, and she told me that if I didn't win with this horse, I was going to get my butt kicked. <laughs> so uh, I just figured, out hell with it. I better go out on the front end. If she gets tired, at least I can be the, you know, be out there somewhere where I could drive in the center field, stay out of Jerry's wife's way, you know. All right. Now, when you looked at the program, uh, did you see that Make Mine Grand was the horse to beat, or did you think you were the one to beat? Well, I kind of thought that she had a shot in there. I didn't know, you know. It's kind of hard to tell about them non-winners of one things, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she raced real good uh, uh, this week before, and just that I, I pulled her a little bit quick, and we didn't know much about her. Now, she looks like she's well-bred Abercrombie uh, by Seahawk Hanover Mare. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, but, and she's got kind of a nice way of going, and just that they, she doesn't like to, uh, she's got kind of sulky, but tonight she raced super good. Uh, every time I asked her for something or when the horse come on to her, she... Mm -hmm. She went right on, so... Uh, well, you just looked over and saw Danny Knox coming, but you knew, of course, that three to five shot was right on your back also. Yeah, yeah, uh, but I, I didn't really care. I didn't look too much at the odds anyway. I mean, uh, when you're non-winners of one like that, unless you're really an outstanding thing, but uh, this mare uh, should be as good as the rest of them, you know, so... Mm -hmm. she like looks like I say, I'm too. I'm afraid of Jerry's wife, and, if the, you know, <laughs> if I don't win this race, she's going to kick my butt, and, and I don't like to get... The women kind of scare me sometimes. It's so. Now, they're all watching Dean McGee sitting right on your back here, and uh, he's just uh, looking his chops ready to come out. But you know that he's got a ton of pace ready because he hasn't been used yet, that five horse. Yeah, but uh, I, my mare acted like she was well in control. I mean, she, she handled herself real well, and uh, I didn't really know that she'd have any kind of a kick on the end of it, but I was kind of hoping she would. You know? I thought you were beat right here. And I want Duke to know that I didn't hit a pylon. Okay. Right. They're going to start fining us over at Sportsman $25 for a pylon, and of all the pylons that I've hit, I wouldn't have gas money enough to drive in here. So but you just, didn't. I did stay, I stayed away from the pylons. And, and it was a good drive, too, Darrell. I, I thought it was a, 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 a real, real good drive, it, you know. Entertaining, uh, as always, Darrell. We thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Tony. All right, ladies and gentlemen, one of the best, Darrell Bussey on this Maywood Park Alert.